everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Um, <coughs> I happen to be standing now in the part of the apartment that we, uh, you know, the kitchen that there's nobody in now. And this was the, the bedroom that those mean people <laughs> lived in. As you can see, you know, we got this half-empty apartment, and with no utensils, and well, a spoon and a fork, and no frying pans and no pots and pans, just some tin foil and a, and, um, a tin foil and a, and, a, and a pot. I made some delicious. Uh, this is the, the leftover one. I made some delicious uh, pot roast, brisket, beef with carrots and. and Potatoes and um, uh, beans and Jamaican jerk sauce, <laughs> and mild of course, and uh, thick cold, cold meat, uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm doing the best I can here. We still have gas running. Interesting, isn't that? They pulled the electric meter, they didn't turn off the gas. <laughs> uh, the gas is a $25 a month surcharge or something just to have it. Whether you use it or not, and then you're paying a certain amount per therm. Um, anyway, here's my my delightful uh, meal. Uh, uh, actually, I wanted to make a, a Christmas a Christmas Eve meal, and since I'm really not good with um, dates and like what's going on anymore, like my brain is uh, looks like this, but not as edible. I'm sure it's full of all kinds of really weird fungal Morgellons, remnant, pop hemoglobin, and toxins. So anyway, I'm losing my memory. Um, and, and I didn't realize that yesterday wasn't Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, so I went out and I bought myself this pot roast or whatever. And, um, it's funny because Pedro's like, Man, I don't cook food. <laughs> It's too much trouble. What are you trying to cook for? You always mess it up. Which isn't actually true, but frequently <laughs> I do. I used to be a good cook, actually. I used to run a commercial kitchen for like 30 people uh, up in Canada, Dianova. Uh, three meals a day and a snack. Anyway, um, this, is my, this is my little home, home thing, you know, a little Christmas. I wanted to make a special, special Christmas thing. Well, this is Beaker. He's the guy that, that this guy gives all the weird stuff to to test on the Muppets. And I found out it's really an abusive and horrible show, and you shouldn't let your children watch it. I used to think it was funny, hilarious. Anyway, um, see, I've already forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> One sidetrack, and that's it. Zoom, or on another highway going somewhere else. Um, it's Christmas Eve now. The people next door are having their regular weekly, bi-weekly loud party. This one's a little louder because it's Christmas. Um, they're not very nice to us, but <laughs> and um, and so anyway, the pot roast. It, we had this big disaster. Somebody accidentally poked a hole in the uh, in the tin foil thing, and all the sauce ran out of the out of the, the cooking thing. And, and, Filled the stove. And this is just a horrible mess. I had to run out there and get another one. And I'm dripping sweat from the panic attack, and the, you know, and I'm all upset. I go through these little mini, mini temper tantrums for like four and a half minutes. I'm like, rah, 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 rah. and then I'm like, okay, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to be such a jerk. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> so. And then I cut the thing in half, and, and we finished it up, and it, and it was it didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought it was gonna take like five hours, and it only took like two or three. It came out really nice. And it didn't come out like a like a like a steak, you know, red in the middle and everything. Cause Paige was like, oh, don't overcook it, and blah blah blah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, no. It came out like like a brisket, you know, like pulled, like you know, little bits, little pieces. And I like that. And then, um, also grateful to the animals that gave their lives, gave its life, so that we could have this meal at Christmas time, the pagan holiday. I don't even know what it celebrates, but we're meant to believe that it it celebrates the birth of our Savior and Lord.
Yeshua, the anointed Christ. Um, and I'm sticking with that one because that's, that's what I like. You know, I've always been brought up on that. Uh, wow. Uh, Petra, we just had a friend come over who's like a really nervous guy who's getting HIV and doesn't believe that targeting exists. <laughs> um, he's just like, you know, some ball of stress. And, uh, and Petra had this, she's been under attack, this V2K constantly. Arrest them in housing court. Housing court. Arrest them tomorrow. Tomorrow in housing court. Arrest them? Arrest them. No, let them be. Arrest them. In housing court? Arrest them in housing court. Let's set them up in housing court. In the hospital? In housing hospital. Arrest them in the hospital in housing court. I mean, just like on and on and on and on. For days, they're like, she's trying to explain to them that calling her a bitch and a junkie and a loser or whatever is, is just not nice, it's mean. And you know, the whole thing, she's trying to reason with this, this auto, automated, you know, and I like make light of it and shit because I don't have it. I have the and the, the voice that sounds like it's my own telling me to kill myself. Uh, you know, um, I really feel for her. And I'm like, there's got to be some way that you can block this out, or, or, you know, she thinks it's real people. She believes that it's real people, and she believe, you know, sometimes she even thinks they're standing right there. She's like, did you hear that? Was somebody? No, no, it was just the thing in your head. So they've really got it. And they did torture her now for months, years with this thing. Um, it's gotten pretty bad. And so she's in there, and then they did something to her. And she started having these serious chest pains, and she's ah, moaning and groaning and ah, oh my god, oh my god. And of course, I'm like terrified. I'm like, oh god, here we go. What's gonna happen now? You know, like I can't. I don't want to face that. You know. The inevitable. I always thought I was gonna be the one to drop dead first. Um, and you know, she's in pain, and the guy's standing there, and I'm like, um, like, all right, maybe you should go. You know, whatever. Have a merry Christmas. I'm sorry, we can't hang out. And I'm asking Peter, do you want to go to the hospital? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. Do you have any pains? Is it, you know, radio pain down your left arm, right arm? No. Um, difficulty breathing, yes. Tightness of breath and difficulty breathing, serious chest. I get this too sometimes, but not so bad that I'm screaming and crying like that. You know, so she lays down, she's white uh, and red. Red in her cheeks and ears and forehead, flushed red and white. The rest of her skin is like pale white and dripping sweat. <sighs> really hot, but cold sweat, you know, like wet, cold, hot. It's so fucked up. Uh, it's the toxic thing, that, you know, it's like the toxic death thing. They fucking vibrate you with something and something and you just get sicker and sicker. Wow, that really gave me a, like a serious fright, adrenaline fright. I mean, I look at myself, man. And I look at other targets that I see that are saying the same thing. Their faces are changing shape. You know, their noses and their eyes and their pupils are blown and their hair's falling out and they're getting lasik, you know, laser hair removal and uh, thoral, thoraxial, whatever this thing is. This. <laughs> This thing that they're not supposed to fuck with that keeps you going. All this delicate balance that God has created, this biology, genetics, and, and you know, of course it's easy to destroy shit. What's going on? I hear banging, you know, that's my cat. My cat is playing the I'm a jumping around cat game. Yes, he is. All right, I think my meal, my little Christmas meal is probably ready. Um, I wish you could smell that. Oh, that's good. And, and, and I thank the Lord, I thank the Lord for this, you know, the blessings of being able to have a roof over my head in the freezing cold for this one day. This delicious, steaming hot, wonderful meal for this one day. You know, now I feel like I should be going outside and like giving this to somebody who doesn't have anything.
Wow. Um, didn't even cross my mind. I was so like lost in my own my own problems and my own fears and my own thoughts and my own worries and my you know, like, right like me 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 me. Is that what they're teaching us? Is that what they're teaching targets to do? You know, be very afraid and think only of yourself. Trust no one and do nothing for no one. You know, we're not gonna make it that way. And, and I'm always talking about help, 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 we gotta help. And, and I do. You know, whenever I see somebody that, that I can help in some way, give them some pants or some shoes or some, some food, a few dollars, or, you know, it's not like I got a lot to offer anybody. You know, I can't really give them a place to stay. I guess I could sneak them in here for until we get thrown out. Um, you know, I, I share what I can and I, and I can. And I start thinking about all the other people in the world that are like fucked, you know? If you'll excuse my language. All the other people that have nobody to love them. All the other people who you know, that's that's one of the things, you know. Um, this guy who came over, uh, that's one of the things he was bitching about. Oh, somebody stole this camera of his roommate, and, and the roommate got all upset, and they knew who it was, and they gave him the camera back, and, and the roommate moved out, and they lost some money because they could have had a job, and blah, 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 blah. And, and we're like, but don't you live in a nice apartment? One bedroom? Yeah. And doesn't the city of New York, or the state of whatever, pay your full rent under the, the um, <coughs> Health and Human Services? Uh, HIV thing, he got a hookup. He, he like walked into the right place and the right person said, Oh, yeah, we got a program for you. Granted, he's sick, he's got HIV, and he's dying, but you know, I've seen people dying for 25, 30 years, man. Um, granted, it's, it's not for any picnic, but and you know, so I guess what he was more upset about was the fact that, and I'm just guessing that, you know, he was renting the room out for like six, seven hundred dollars a month or eight hundred bucks a month that money was going in his pocket and now that got screwed up. And, but we're like, you know, let's focus on the good thing. The fact that you have a place to live that's paid for. You know, you have medication, you have... Not only that, he lives in a building with other people that are like his friends and they all look out for each other and make sure each other's okay. And it's like he's got a support network. Wow. I don't have a support network, you know, maybe a few people that care enough to talk to me and send me something, but, you know, I mean, I'm trying to be support network for somebody else, I can't even support myself, and we're like, you know, be grateful for these things, man, I and mean, sometimes, and I know it's like, on one hand, it's like, that is the pathetic, uh, attempt of a broken slave to make themselves feel better under extreme circumstances that have no positive resolution. Oh, well, you know, I'm grateful I can still walk and talk and breathe. And but no, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. You know, we all get so, you know, like, entitled. Like, every day we wake up and go and do our thing. All this drama and drama, but still we're like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And, and you know, what if that's not true? You know, like, I don't want to walk, guys. You know, all right. It's inevitable. It will happen to all of us. It will happen to the ones of us that we love that are older than us probably sooner. Sometimes the younger ones that we love. You know, that it's, who can say? You know, there's tragedy. There's uh, misadventure. There's shouldn't have happened to such a nice guy. There's, you know, all kind of stuff. And I can't understand it, you know. Do I think that, that, that giving it to God is an excuse? Yeah, yeah, in a way, it's a cop-out, it's an excuse, but wait a minute. Isn't this the one that, like, made this entire thing? That, like, made me and, and you know, sustains it all? You know, if that's true, then, uh, 
we have a lot to be thankful for. If not, then... I don't know. If you can't prove it or disprove it either way, what does it really matter? Well, it matters. It's like... I don't know. Denying you exist. <laughs> because you can't prove it. It happens to people, man. They disappear. They lose their memory, they get, you know, shanghai away, and they don't do it for 10, 12 years, or whatever, and somebody says, oh, they're dead, and then they can't, uh, you know, they can never... I've heard stories of this, people who were declared dead and they lost everything, couldn't... Anyway, I, I, you see how scatterbrained I am? This is Christmas Eve, and I'm gonna go walk into the other room, and I, and I pray and hope that Pedro's gonna be okay. I believe, I have faith that she's going to be okay. I pray to God that she's going to be okay. If she's not okay, I'm going to deal with it. I pray that she's okay. Just like I pray that I'm going to be okay and that you people are going to be okay. Anyway, Merry Christmas. <laughs>